subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about Microsoft Information Protection Administrator, Tutorial and Preparatory Guide. Let's see, how you can start preparing for the exam. This exam is offered by Microsoft. The exam SC400 measures the candidate's ability, to achieve technical tasks such as implementing information protection, performing data loss prevention, and executing information governance, etc. The candidate after successfully passing the exam, the candidate will gain the role of Microsoft Certified, Information Protection Administrator Associate. Responsibilities of an Information Protection Administrator Associate 1. The Microsoft Certified Information Protection Administrator plans, and performs controls that meet organizational compliance requirements. This person is responsible for translating requirements, and compliance controls into technical implementation. Also, they sustain organizational control owners to become, and stay compliant. 2. They engage with information technology personnel, business application owners, human resources, and legal stakeholders to develop technology that establishes policies and controls essential to adequately address regulatory obligations for their organization. They also work with the compliance and security leadership such as a chief compliance officer and security officer to estimate the full breadth of associated enterprise risk and partner to develop those policies. 3. This person describes applicable obligations and tests IT methods and operations against those policies and controls. They are accountable for designing policies and rules for content classification, data loss prevention, governance, and security. Exam details. The Microsoft Information Protection Administrator covers 40 to 60 questions, in multiple choice and multi-response format. The candidate will get 120 minutes to complete the exam. Moreover, it is available in the English language only, and they must score 70% to achieve this certification. Scheduling the exam. Pearson v UE. In order to appear in the Microsoft exam, the candidate has to schedule the exam, and make themselves register with Microsoft. The candidate can schedule their exam with the Pearson VUE. Certiport. The candidate also schedules the exam SC400, Microsoft Information Protection Administrator with Certiport. Course Outline. 1. Implement Information Protection, which comprises of 35-40% to weightage in exam. 2. Implement Data Loss Prevention, which comprises of 30-35% to weightage in exam. 3. Implement Information Governance, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. Exam Retake Policy Microsoft allows 5 attempts per year for a specific exam. The exam retake policy for the Microsoft exam is as follows. First, if a candidate is not able to clear the exam in the first attempt, the candidate must wait at least 24 hours, before retaking the exam. Second, if a candidate does not clear the exam the second time, candidate must wait at least 14 days, before retaking the exam a third time. Third, a 14-day waiting period is also there for the fourth and fifth subsequent exam retakes. Cancellation and Reschedule Policy Microsoft allows free cancelling of the exam, within 24 hours prior to your scheduled appointment. But, if you fail to show up on your exam day, without rescheduling or cancelling your exam, Microsoft reserves all rights to forfeit your entire exam fee. Rescheduling and cancellation of your scheduled exams, can be done through the certification dashboard. Now let's discuss about preparatory guide. 1. Microsoft Learning Platform. Microsoft offers SC400 learning paths, the candidate should visit the official website of Microsoft. The candidate can find every possible information on the official site. The candidate will find many learning paths, and documentation for this. 2. Microsoft Documentation. Microsoft documentations are an important learning resource, while preparing for Microsoft Information Protection Administrator. The candidate will find documentation on every topic, relating to the particular exam. 3. Instructor-led training. The training programs that Microsoft provides itself, are available on their website. The candidate can find the instructor-led training, on the page of the particular exam on the Microsoft website. 4. Books and Guides. The next step in the preparatory guide should be books, and study guides. The candidate needs to find those books, which are enriched with information. Candidates should study some books, and guides which will definitely help them, to gather knowledge about the particular exam. 5. Join a study group. 
we are suggesting you join some studies, where you can discuss the concepts with the people who have the same goal. This will lead the candidate throughout their preparation. 6. Evaluate yourself with practice test. The most important step is to try your hands on the practice test. The practice tests are the one which ensures the candidate about their preparation. There are many practice tests available on the internet nowadays, the candidate can choose whichever they want. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.